How's that? Nice and straight? You can't say that in an LGBT plus event. Oh, well, nice and level then. <laughs> oh, whatever. No, it looks brilliant. Right, we just need to prepare inside, don't we? Yeah, well, I'm going to have to leave you to it, though, OK? Um, Kim's back at work today and she is going to be on my case if I am late. Mm. Yeah, I've told Brenda you're going to pick up the sandwiches later, so make sure you're back here on time, all yeah, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, see you later. Mary, nice to see you. I'm here instead of Marlon. He'd like to have helped, but he's busy keeping up the search for Paddy. <sighs> April said there's still no news. Sadly not. Bears pounding the streets every day. Marlon and Chaz are doing social media, hotels. Ugh, it's hard for everybody, but they're trying not to lose hope. They're in our prayers if there's any help. Not really, no. I'm not a believer. But I'll be sure to pass the message on. Hey, you two. Oh. Uh, interesting scarf. Thank you. So, what needs doing? Uh, you can help me shift these boxes inside. Right. I'll go and organise. Oh, you? You're right, love. Yeah, I'm just texting Marshall. I've invited him along again and he still hasn't replied. I guess that's a no then. He's just worried about his dad finding out. That's why. I know, but it is his choice. I know it's a disappointment, but don't let it spoil today. All right. I'll see you in there. Thanks. Hey, nice one, and organising today. Ah, oh, it was Arthur's idea. April and I helped him put it together. And Mary, of course. We just hung a few streamers. <laughs> I love what you've done with the place, especially the uh, progress flag. Oh, I've been meaning to ask, what do the colours represent? Oh. Seriously, you're my gear granny. You're meant to know this stuff. <laughs> I was a late developer. I didn't have supportive friends or anywhere that I could express my sexuality. If I had, things could have turned out very differently. Express it now. Better late than never. <laughs> <laughs> I have had a date, actually. A woman called Faye. It's lovely. Oh, nice. You're going to see her again? Oh, I'd like to. But she had to go abroad. Whether she contacts me on her return remains to be seen. <laughs> Well, you never know. You may not be the only late-life lesbian in the village. Why don't you have a uh, little mingle and find out? Well, I'll need a wingman. Well, that's his style. OK, let's gay you up a little. <laughs> you never know, you might find someone too. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so, no sign of Rona, then? No, she texts him she's not going to be able to make it. Well, she's probably up to her eyes in vet work, isn't she? Yeah, she's dead stressed. So is Dad. I just... I just wish that Paddy was back and things could get a bit more normal. Yeah, I know, sweetheart. We all want that. Marshall's Dad? Hmm? What's he doing here? I dread to think. It's just as well Marshall never made it. Listen, nothing's going to spoil today for you. I will make sure of that. Councillor. So what do we owe the honour? I'm here representing the council. Oh, I'm glad they're taking an interest in the LGBT plus history month. <laughs> More observation than interest, as it's my patch, so to speak. Nice scarf. Ah, uh, yes, uh, Mary gave it to me. Wanted to game me up a little. Her words, not mine. <laughs> this is our local councillor, and this is Ethan, my son. Ah, great to meet you. Uh, likewise. Uh, if you'll excuse me. You believe people like that still exist? Hmm. Oh, councillor, I didn't know you were coming. Well, I was just telling the vicar I'm here as a council representative. Well, you're going to get to see Arthur's speech. You know, the one that he was supposed to read in assembly that you sabotaged. <laughs> I'm not sure it's appropriate at a church event either. Oh, well, he'll still get to read it at school. It's just a case of when. It'll have to go through the governors again. Myself included. Well, he made today happen, so that's only going to help his case. Anyway, he's put a lot of effort in today's events, so nobody is going to spoil it. Oh, I've seen all I need to see. If you do press ahead with the school assembly, I'm sure we'll speak again. Yeah, just, do you know what? Don't go, cos I just don't think it would look great, you know, as a councillor leaving before the speeches. What do you think? No. Well, if you put it in those terms... 
Oh, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Marshall's here. What? Yeah, just don't let his dad see, OK? Go. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? I only decided last minute. Your dad's here. Can I have everyone's attention, please? Oh, my speech. You can't stay for it. Thank you for coming to support the LGBT Plus History Month. I want to. Today, I, I gotta we go. celebrate the brave men and women who have been role models, built communities, and fought for the civil rights of all the LGBTQ plus people. I'd like to introduce Arthur, who initiated today's event. And as a young gay man, he has faced adversity, but hasn't let it deter him. Let's give him a warm welcome. Go, Arthur! <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I'm pleased you could all make it today. Seriously, it means the world. I feel lucky standing here today talking about LGBT plus rights. In some parts of the world, it's still illegal to be gay, even punishable by death. Being gay here was once seen as a crime, a sin, a mental illness, and still is by some backward thinkers. But nowadays, we celebrate our sexuality with pride parades and events like this. We've come a long way, but the fight's not over yet. We want more rights, more acceptance. We can't let the past hold us back anymore. Being gay is not something you choose. It's who you are. Everyone has a right to be accepted. Let's keep on fighting until we all are. Thanks for listening. That speech was sick. It's a bit unkind. I thought it was excellent. <laughs> so do I. That's what it means, Gran. Oh. Yeah, mate, I thought it was excellent too. <laughs> you were amazing. And your dad would be so proud. <laughs> right, i just got to check where Jay is. Marshall's outside. I've got to speak to him. You did great in there. You think? You're dead brave. So are you. I made up you said to watch. My dad didn't see me. That's why. So there's nothing to do with me. It's been ages since you spoke to me. I've missed you loads. You would have missed me too, or you wouldn't be here. I've told you before, I'm not into you like that. I know what you said. I just don't think you're being honest. If you were, you'd have loads of people supporting you. Me especially. Marshall. I saw you. How dare you touch my son, you disgusting little pervert? Home. Now. 